from that a digital variable message sign that you would take down six. <clears throat> the only thing I want to make sure of is if we take down a variable message sign now and move it, we wouldn't have to take down anything else in addition, that we could move the variable message sign without removing anything else. I wouldn't want to give up, because we're already giving up six when we take down the variable message. So you wouldn't be adding a sign, no, you actually would be just relocating. Yes, because it, it didn't talk about that, and that's something my boss pointed out. He looked at it and said, hey, it doesn't cover if you take down a variable message sign yourself. What about moving that? And, and I would think, uh, if we took down one, we could move it without taking down anything in addition. The, <clears throat> I understand what he's saying. Um, there, one way that could be accomplished is through a variance process, which I think is the correct way to go. Um, treating all presenting signs the same. If you were to take down any <coughs> sign and relocate it, it is the same as putting up a new one. Um, it's got it's a new sign permit has to meet new standards. It should be no different than for a digital. Tool. Well, we're talking about moving the sign. We're just talking about a cap and replace aspect uh, of this ordinance. A regular freestanding sign would have to follow those same rules. Um, but I understand it's, it's a valid argument. I mean, I think that would might um, intrigue the zoning board of appeals. It's part of a variance case that you're not actually gaining digital billboard in the community, but simply relocating one, hopefully to a better location. Uh, but as far as Replacing others, I don't know how they would do that. Um, maybe still replace a few or get rid of a few, but maybe a lesser number, something like that, they might entertain. Um, but currently, there's nothing in here that addresses relocation of signs. Um, it's simply a new sign permit and therefore a new sign. New but, but we're addressing the relocation of signs by this whole ordinance process. This is a cap and replace ordinance. Right, it's for replacing signs. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Same if I page. take down a digital, I just want to replace the digital. Okay. Well, I'm not talking about a new one. No, you said move it. Re <clears throat> well, take that's, one down. That, and that's not what this it. is, though. That's, that's not what this is. Yeah. This is taking an existing sign that's in space A, taking it down and putting another sign back in that same space location, space. back in space A. That's what this is replacement is talking about here. Well, why do we have the spacing? Why are we talking it's about It's to this? measure the non-conformity. So the you're saying this one that says nothing to do with it. I've got a sign on Norman Drive, and I'm taking it down. I have to put it right back in that same spot? As a replacement sign. As you want to relocate so this it. Has nothing, okay, this is, okay. Then then it's I'm, I'm totally, uh, yeah, I thought this was a cap and replace ordinance to where you just had a cap number of the signs in the community. And as long as you didn't exceed that, you could move it to another spot. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's the only camp replacement I've ever dealt with in the 33 years I've been in the business. So I'm totally thrown for a loop here tonight. Okay, well you're not talking to sign people here, so we're talking right, for a loop. Right, here. right, yeah. <laughs> this is, and, I, and I didn't mean that statement to be a reflection on anybody. <laughs> When I heard cap and replace, my thought was cap and replace ordinance like I've done in many different markets. And, and that is simply you have a cap. Let's say you've got 100 signs in a city limit. That's the max you can ever have. Lamar has 30, uh, Fairway has 20, and Roger Bud has 50, or whatever the case may be. They have that many signs. If they lose a site, as long as they adhere to the spacing, to the zoning, to the height, to the setbacks, that you could replace your sign. Uh, sure, I think so. Go ahead. When does this have to be done? Does this have to go in? Well, we've done change so much here on this. Is this something got to be done for the first well, of the year? You may have more notes than I do. I just have a few notes on page five. Well, let me rephrase that. A lot of concern and questions that's been around this that I've been lost with it, going through it almost. Does it have to be done? Uh, uh, well, it, we have a provision in here now that sunsets on December 31st. Okay. So we're trying to get it in front of the city council before that. Uh -huh. Each hammer in the way, brother Tom. Yeah. 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 The reason yeah. 
my, my thoughts on Captain and Clay, uh, we just don't want to lose any locations <coughs> that we have within the city, but we may not be able to build back on a particular lot. You know, we've got a big investment here. We've employed a lot of folks, and we want to, we to maintain that. Without the cap and replace, as these signs start going away, land rent goes away, advertising possibilities go away, and jobs go away. Matt, do you see this, I'm sorry, Mr. Martin, do you see this in the form that, that we're actually losing signs? Not in a significant way. Um, this is meant to replace billboards, and the requirement is to get rid of some. Typically, it's believed that those would be the smaller, older, less desirable, particularly from the advertiser's point of view. Um, so it's this type of text ordinances is not uncommon nowadays. It's used as a tool to reduce the overall amount of the large size. Um, and then the ones that remain are better, fewer, cleaner, higher size. So that's how the framework is built. But it's a long, slow process. Yeah, and a complicated. Yeah, really. What? I'm sorry, Mr. Wiley. I'm sorry. Um, from what I see here, the only place that I see where there are any signs that are be lost would be along the scenic routes, where it says you should try not to place a billboard or right. anything designated. And we don't have anything designated currently. But, but, but if we were, then that's something. I think the state does have some. But I don't think any are in the city limits. May, no, may, not be. may not be. The intent of this, from what I've read, is not to cap the number of signs that we're going to have. Not like Miles County. There, there, there makes a reference. reference. There makes I mean, a reference. Mathematically, yeah, there would be a certain, you know, if you, once you met all your maximum radiuses and distances from each other, there would be a, max, a mathematical number you would actually get cap. But there's no set number specified in this. But well, every billboard that's out there is not informing in some way. It's just a way to measure to what degree <laughs> to try and get the place of the billboard to comply as closely as possible. Right now, we couldn't build a sign, period. This ordinance would allow us to, if we had to take one down, for us to replace that sign. But the way I now understand it, you have to either replace it right where it's at, or you lose your asset. Now, right where it's at, it, it's or somewhere close by, so it doesn't increase any amount of performance. In other words, do not go closer. And that's what I'm saying is, as long as we adhere to the spacing, the zoning, the height, and the setback, we should be able to put it within the parameters of the regulations. I think that's... Well, maybe we got off track. Yeah. We call it. <laughs> okay, so this is the capture place order. So if we took one down on Bay Tree, we could build it over on Norman. As, as long, long as it meets these types. You would have to, right. The new it location be, gets reviewed. As, as yes, but as long as it meets the use by right. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to complicate things here. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I mean, that's the way I understand it. If you wanted to, whatever you do, as long as you move back into that other location, then you've got to meet all of the zoning requirements, permitting, you've got to meet the setbacks, you've got to meet the radiuses, everything is, if you find a location like that, that's what that works. Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. Did we resolve that? Okay. I, I just need to clarify something uh, with Mr. Martin here, if I understand correctly, under 6F, a billboard owner may apply for approval of one variable message board sign face after the removal of at least six, it used to be four, existing billboard sign faces and their related sign structures from the city of Austin. So if he, uh, and I, uh, a variable message board, that's an electronic sign, is that right? Like by Red Lobster, right, okay. Right. Right. They have to, if I understand correctly, a, a company would, a billboard owner would have to remove six faces. existing billboard faces, which I know that could be front and back <coughs> for one structure. But that's, that's a, that's not, they have to remove at least six just to be able to get one variable sign. Correct. So, 
how is that being supportive of? I don't know. I probably shouldn't say that. So I just want to make sure I understand. You're asking them to take down six billboards to get one variable message signed. Correct. Okay. That's all. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll to that. Real quick. Okay. We need to try to move along. I don't necessarily, with how many digits we have here right now, I don't have necessarily a problem with that as much as I do that I couldn't take down a variable message sign today and move it without taking down something else. Because I'm taking down six. When I take down that variable message sign, I'm just wanting to move it. I'd never take one down without being able to replace it. I just wouldn't <laughs> take them down. What's the rationale behind this? Yeah, I'm the six on the floor. Yeah, taking down six billboards right. instead of one. This type of mechanism is used as a tool to reduce the overall number of billboards that are in the community. So in exchange for getting a digital, which is multiple faces in one spot, mm -hmm. um, that you remove other billboards. But what's the rationale behind that? If, we're, if we have zoning that restricts billboards in areas where we don't want them, like in a residential neighborhood, then why would we want to restrict them in commercial areas? Because this is the only way some businesses have a way to advertise and say, hey, we're in business. It's like I said, it's used as a tool. It, it's used to lower the overall number. Yeah. I would agree with John in that it, at the end of the day, down the road, it hurts us. I mean, it does. Because <laughs> but you don't have any opposition, though, to move to, to that of removing the six if you want to put a variable message board in that for us. Well, I don't, but to right. be honest with you, it's a little unfair because I've got quite a few. So I'm not in as need as the other guy that may want to put one up is in need. And I'll tell you where it would hurt us is down the road as technology changes, the cost of these are going to come down. It's going to be more of a normalcy, just like the static faces are today. And then we're going to kind of scratch our heads and say, is there any way we can go back? because this is the new normal in 10 years and add more vegetables down the road. But uh, maybe that's something we look at yeah. down the road. Right. And just like this is something that's down the road, this Absolutely. is a change. And I was a few years ago. Well, sir, okay. <clears throat> I'll 